Well, even though I've been out of town, that didn't stop Olivia and T from conspiring together to find new ways to force feed me sugary mashups that should not exist. Uh, the mashup du jour? Crispy S'mores M&Ms. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Noah Gluten. Now, uh, we retired Oreo taste tests on this show a while back because the uh, stupid flavors they were coming out with were unrelenting and it just became, frankly, redundant. But lucky for you, M&M seems to have filled that void. Olivia was at Target getting her sundries over the weekend and stumbled across these. Crispy S'mores M&M's. She texted T a photo, T texted back a sleigh emoji or whatever the hell girls do, and now we're doing a taste test. That is what girls do, right? All right, so let's round up those a-holes and feed them. Uh, and Olivia better not be in a goddamn meeting this time, like last time, because as far as I know, her meetings are not real meetings. She's just avoiding me again. Ooh, I can already smell that. have American flag stuff. Yeah. Yeah, are s'mores distinctly American? Can I say a little quick hot take here? American as apple pie is bullshit. That's super German. Blueberry pie would be much more American because blueberries are grown in America. Oh, shut it. The more you know. Does anybody taste marshmallow in any way? No, no I get no. graham cracker exclusively. Yeah, I get a little hint and chocolate. I get a hint of marshmallow. If anybody was told that these were just crispy M&Ms, would they be like, what's going on? These are different. No. no. Go around the room, say your favorite M&M, and then tell me how much worse this is than that. Olivia, go. Um, I like the peanuts and the pretzels, as I said before. <laughs> Did I do it wrong? Sadness. <laughs> You're just doing it really slowly. Four, three, two, one, go. Sadness. Okay, <laughs> great. Phil. My favorite M&M is the peanut butter M&M. Mm -hmm. I like the creamy middle, which is why I think this yeah. needs a little creamy marshmallow touch in the middle. If my peanut butter M&M mm -hmm. is a 10, I would give this M&M like a Four. I'm actually uh, exactly the same as Phil in, in a lot of regards, but also that my favorite <laughs> is it's, uh, peanut butter. And I've if that were a ten, <laughs> this is a four, maybe three and a half. Ooh. I like dark chocolate, so I'm not a huge fan of just the regular M and M's. Dark chocolate M and M's or Tadden, which they're, they're not. not. But yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Easy um, guys. Then these are like a three. Uh, mint is my favorite. Give those a ten. What? Yes. Yes. Uh, these are like a four. <laughs> these taste like camping in the rain with like your stepdad is trying too hard. It's just sad. Guys. I thought it was out to go a lot darker than that. Is he trying to get and you you're about, about to get yeah. I feel like these taste like going camping with a major corporation and they're molesting you. <laughs> so yeah, if we're using it's a regular much. American grading scale, these are across the board an F according to everyone. Even compared to other M&Ms. All right, so the M&M s'mores flavor uh, were not like horrible. No one hated them more than anything else in the universe. They kind of just tasted like kind of bad, crispy M&Ms. But everyone thought that compared to their favorite M&Ms, they were basically under a five rating, which means they all failed. So M&Ms, you did a bad job. Shame on you. Shame on you for making a bunch of money and not caring that anyone doesn't like your food. <laughs> That's it for us today. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Taste for more episodes of The Food Feeder where Olivia will eventually text T a picture of cyanide and then T uh, will buy it. I'll drink it on the show and then uh, who knows? We'll see what happens after that. Cyanide's good for you, right?